up, everyone? If you guys like TV shows and movie reviews, then stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. This is 7 Minute Movie Problems on your favorite channel, 7 Minute Reviews. This week on our favorite show that everybody loves, we have a great one for you guys. We have Jurassic Park, uh, 1993's the original Jurassic Park. Okay, oh boy, do I have so many problems with this movie. You know what, we'll start out with our very first scene. Our very first scene. I love this scene because of, of the guy screaming. I love to say that to people, where, you know. And uh, my biggest problem with this scene, though, is the raptor, man. He's strong enough to move the cage away from the wall, but wasn't strong enough to get the fucking... Uh, drag the guy the rest of the way in because one guy was holding her. Pfft, get the fuck out of here. I, you know, it's just things like that that don't make any sense. We move on to our next problem. Our next biggest problem in this whole movie, after they've got your main characters, your Dr. Grants and your, your Mr. Malcolm's The Fly, uh... We get into what seems to be all 1993 or anything before the 2000s problem is the CGI work is just horrible. Here's some CGI dinosaurs so you can, you know, see what I'm talking about. Move on, everyone's on the island. For some reason, the old guy, who by the way has said, uh, Spared no expense like 17 times throughout this movie. John, spared no expense. We spared no expense. Spectacular disaster. Spared no expense. Uh, decides he is going to bring his grandchildren onto this dangerous death trap of a lawsuit park and just let them be children. Just, you know, nobody around. We'll uh, go raid the kitchen and. Go see some Tyrannosaurus Rexes and, you know, do what children do in a dinosaur park, apparently. It's the kids, and a fucking storm's coming, and they just, he just sends them out. Just, oh, there's a big hurricane coming. Let's send them on a tour through the park by the T-Rex cages and see how that works out. And then the storm, hit, the storm hits, okay, the storm hits, chaos happens, fat guy steals a bunch of stuff. It's just, it's madness, right? The whole time, you, just so many mistakes were made. So many mistakes, okay? And then, my next problem is a big movie mistake, okay? The goat that they fed the Tyrannosaurus Rex with. Do you know how much a T-Rex eats on a daily basis? Our friends over at Wikipedia say that... A Tyrannosaurus Rex will eat up to 326 to 575 kilograms of meat a day. That's four to eight people. They only killed four people in the whole damn movie. In the next scene, the goat is at eye level. And you get the 40 foot cliff, right? In the scene after, that they throw the jeep over. It's on the same side though. There's just a cliff. Like it makes absolutely no sense. And how'd the T-Rex even get up there to get out? The T-Rex wasn't even that tall. He fit in the building. Like that's just, that's just craziness. Drop the car off the 40 foot cliff that just magically appeared, right? 40 foot cliff magically appeared. Dropped the car, Jeep went into the tree. And then Dr. Grant climbs to get the damn little kid who started this whole mess. We won't even talk about that. Right? Kids are stupid. They're just oopsie-daisy. Right? He, he turns the wheel, and that's what makes the tree drop the car. Not that it's a two-ton SUV. All right. I got two more problems, and that's it. All right. Besides for the storm, the truck, and 
Oh, Jesus, Lord. The next biggest problem, right, is PETA would have been so far up this guy's ass. Because when they went to go see the raptor cages, they were like this big. The cow was almost bigger than the roof of the cage. That's insane. PETA, P oh man, PETA would have had a field day with these people. Because you know animals need so much room based on the size and type of the animals. And raptors are huge. Okay. And then my last and final problem is there wasn't one fucking door handle. Okay. Regular knobs in this whole fucking place. There were the little push things. And the raptors learned how to use those in like two minutes. So, who thought of, like, maybe something with thumbs, right? Something that required thumbs to open would have been more help. But, you know, I'm just a guy reviewing a movie that didn't really age well. So, in conclusion for today, uh, if you want to watch Jurassic Park, the original one to see where it all started, you can get it on Amazon for like three ninety nine, or pretty much wherever for three ninety nine, and it wasn't that bad of a movie for its day. You know, could have been a lot worse. I enjoyed it. I watched it two or three times to figure out all my problems with it, but really, I didn't need to watch it more than once. These are all things you'll spot immediately. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, make sure you share us ev everywhere. If you want to catch more of uh, me or my friend Josh, who also is on this channel, we do a talk show over at Our Talk Show on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. Make sure you go over there, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more.